Tonight, in parts of central Mississippi, turn down any block and you'll see home after home, business after business reduced to rubble. And for so many, it's not just their town that's gone. All I know is I lost everything. And we really need help, man. D'Angelo White and Diamond Waldington lost their mother, stepfather, and brother when the wind tore apart their mobile home. Helen Munford was a teacher and bus driver. Danny, a welder. Their son, Jadarian, was only 14. She got seven kids, eight grandkids. We all, that's all we know is our mom and dad and they go. <laughs> Tonight, they're staying with family because they lost their homes as well. What we got now? Oh. Man, it's hard, man. In all, reports of at least 25 tornadoes in four states since Friday. There's evidence Tornado Alley is expanding with fewer twisters in the Great Plains and more in the southeast. This is the small town of Rolling Fork before and after the catastrophic EF4 tornado. In many cases, people still can't believe just how strong this tornado was. They point to these two big rigs. They say they were parked side by side. When the tornado came in, it lifted them up and tossed them to a different section of the neighborhood and left them like this, mangled on top of each other. So why was this tornado so destructive? It happened at night, and it was incredibly long-lasting. Its path, a staggering 59 miles, and it tore through vulnerable communities. I got a bunch of clothes under the tree there. Greg Henderson has lived here his whole life, but when we met him, he was looking for his home. It was here. Right there, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's nothing, man. All that's left? Debris and a few beloved damaged mementos. But Henderson's yeah, neighbor like lost his life, fire, but, so tonight uh, he's counting his blessings. My daughter and granddaughter are safe, and, and I'm alive, so everything else is secondary. In all, 22 people are dead, including several friends of Ophelia you? Stewart. That was the worst experience of my life. Her home was blown apart, but her life was spared because she was at a church meeting at a friend's home. He opened the door and we looked out. Everything was gone. Ophelia hasn't been able to recover much, but she did find her Bible, a source of strength as she grapples with all that's been lost. What have you told God? I told him thank you for sparing my life, not only my life, my brother's life. He lost everything. My sister, she lost everything. My nephew, they lost everything. Tom, you've been reporting on the ground for a couple of days now. The storm was so powerful, it seems like nothing in its track could withstand it. That is right, Lester. Mobile homes, but also homes made of brick. As you look behind me here, this was a neighborhood that was dotted with different types of structures, all of them completely gone. The mayor tells us he thinks 85% of his town is gone. I can tell you, Lester, it's probably even more than that. And when residents here say they're lucky to be alive, they're not exaggerating. It's a miracle anyone survived this tornado. Destruction as far as you can see. Tom, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.